I'm here today at Rylands for the Warrington Derby clash between Rylands and Greenalls Padgate. The last time these two met was in August in an emphatic 3 all draw at Greenalls. Rylands find themselves ninth place in the Cheshire Premier Division, with the visitors sitting in 13th position, just above the drop. Greenalls have conceded two goals in the first 10 minutes of the last three matches and look to change that today. But first, here is my interview with Greenhall striker Rob Hamley earlier today. Um, today we've got a big game against rivals Rylands. Um, what does it mean to Greenhall for this game? It's always a tough game. It's good coming here. We uh, like the pitch. Good, good pitch. So over the years we've had a few battles with them. Um, but yeah, but uh, most of the historic ones have been near the top of the table. So this time I think both teams are struggling a little bit. So uh, I think today's is going to be crucial for different reasons. Um, how do you feel Greenhall? I think they have. I think the last few games have been uh, difficult. They've conceded a lot of early goals, so I think t- today key is to not concede in the first 10 15 minutes because, as we've seen from the past games, they're quite strong finishers. So hopefully, if they pick up, keep it, keep it stable by our time in the second half, really pick up. Okay. Um, obviously, we've got the cup game uh, next week. Do you think this is going to be a distraction, or would they, would they uh, rather have the focus on the league than the cup? I think in years gone by the Cubs have always been more important but I think this year with them being in a bit of a dogfight at the relegation battle I think, I think focus has turned to the league and they know how crucial it is to get three points today. Um, we've obviously they've won the last two of the Cups, do you think um, they, they've got another chance of winning? Or I think so, I think I mean getting today out of the way next week they've got a decent draw against a team from a lower division and they tend to do well against those teams. Um, and then they could face Rylands again in the semi-final, so I think today will be a good test and it'll be a, a good precursor for, for the semi-final if they get there. So. Okay, uh, thank you very much Rob. Right. Cheers, Thanks. see you later. Thanks. <laughs> I hand you over now to Alex Bell for the live report. Thank you Brad. I'm here at Rylands to watch Rylands FC v Greenhalls. It was Greenhall who made the best start after a Rylands free kick was punched well clear by the keeper Craig Clare. The counter-attack came out to Lee Hughes and managed to spread the wall well wide to Ben Slater. Unfortunately, Ben Slater's cross was met by into a Rylands defender's head. It was a good start by the Greens. Another chance came for Craig Holland with a very long range free kick, which crashed into the crossbar. Rylands had their own attempt at a long range free kick but rolled tamely into the Greenholz goalkeeper's hands and it held well. Greenholz had another chance, but unfortunately it was struck into their own player at half play. The big chance came then when Mark Hughes was bundled over in the penalty area. And the penalty was given. It was the former Rylands man, Ben Slater, who slotted home for the Greenholz into the side netting and very coolly. After a good ball through, it seemed as if the Greenholz defender had taken out the Rylands striker. The referee said no penalty. Again, Ryland continued to press looking for that equaliser. A good opportunity to be wasted with a poor effort. And Craig Holland had his own chance to double the lead, but was well saved by the Ryland's goalkeeper. Ryland's had a great chance just before half time, but just blazed right over the crossbar. It was Ryland FC this time that started the better of the two sides, and it took less than a minute to get their first chance. It was Joel Brown who burst through the green hole's defence, but it was well saved by Craig Clare, who made no mistake the second time when tapping into the open goal to draw the scores level. Greenholz had the next big chance when Craig Collins cross came up to Matt Burgess, and after a bit of luck managed to strike it to the top of the goal. But the Greens back in front. Rylands then had another penalty appeal that seemed to be a handball from their post, but again it was not given. Joel Brown had another good chance of a free kick, but again it was well saved. Ryland continued to pile on the pressure with the numerous corners. But the Greenhalls defence stood strong. Greenhalls had a chance to finish off the game with a great start from Lee Hughes. Went narrowly wide. Cross was then put into the Green Hall's area that was met by James Daniels and his superb diving header managed to place the ball into the bottom corner. This caused temperatures to rise between the two teams and a scuffle erupted in the middle of the park. These turned out to be the final moments of the game 
the derby ended 2-2. <laughs>